Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And uh, so this is the first weekend of uh, after school. We have finished our first week of school, only three days, but I was exhausted. Maybe because uh, uh, too comfortable with the summer vacation and coming back to work with new challenge, with new pressure, with new preparation, with new work schedule. It's uh, quite, uh, quite exhausting. I fell asleep. And uh, I fell asleep when I came back home. Beautiful sunshine in the afternoon, outside, Friday afternoon, and I could not enjoy. I fell asleep, and in my, in my sleep or in my nap, I suddenly felt so stressed. I felt, oh, I must be late. And uh, dreaming about being late. Anyway, the pressure and uh, and uh, the stress, you you know it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I got uh, some friends asking me uh, in the comment asking me to do a blah blah video. So here is uh, her comment. Could you uh, make another philosophical talk? talking video about how to get through a time in your life that's necessary but uh, doesn't bring you any happiness. Your video bring me, your videos bring me a lot of peace. Thank you. So it is kind of uh, um, hard to talk about things that I do not know detail, no um, no direction, no orientation, no, um, no, uh, no, no direction, no, I don't know what this background is, the, the, the time in life that is necessary. For example, you have to go to a restaurant when you do not want to go, and I am not comfortable going to a restaurant, I prefer stay at home. That is something necessary you have to do. Or you have to do go to a party that is necessary. Anyway, so I do not know the, the context of this, uh, this uh, question. And uh, I try to ask other people, some young uh, other people to give some thoughts. One teenager said, and uh, he said, there are two points when you meet this kind of problem. That uh, you are in a period of your life that is necessary, but that does, doesn't bring your happiness. First, get a hobby to distract yourself from that daunting or boring or necessary but uh, unhappy stage of life. Distract yourself. The second thing is mentally prepare yourself and to embrace it and uh, deal with it. Do not think it about, uh, do not think too negatively or do not think negatively about it and just embrace it, accept it. And I think from this, uh, these two points, it's really enlightening. Sometimes we get ourselves stuck into something and could not, could not think out of the box. This is really very, very uh, interesting point. And uh, so whenever life is necessary, the things that happen in our life are all necessary. No matter it's happy or not happy, it is necessary. There is a meaning in all the things that is happening. Something that is necessary do not bring you happiness is 
to about to bring you happiness is the preparation for your happiness. And uh, if it is not necessary, heaven will not put upon us these things. And and, uh, do not take it negatively. Once you understand This is just one stage in life and one of the steps for going towards happiness. Then you will become much easier to deal with it. You can embrace it. And going to work sometimes is necessary, but does not necessarily bring you happiness. But you think about it. If you do not have a job, if you do not go to work, stay at home and doing nothing, you will bore to death. It will be so boring and you will feel so meaning or so no meaning of life. You will have Another consequence that is not good. And actually, have a job doing something and put your heart, put your soul, put your brain at work. It's a very happy thing. It's a, it's a very rewarding spiritual enrichment. And um, so, whenever you do not want to do something, sit down, slow down. At that moment, don't do it. And give yourself the luxury of thinking. Once you think it through, you can put yourself into the mood of doing or not doing. Something that is necessary but does not bring your happiness. It could be temporary and it is the sign for you to make a decision. It is the sign to ask you what you want to do next. Something necessary and you do do not bring you happiness. You can do two things. One is say bye-bye to this necessary thing. Just stop it, not doing it. What is the consequence if you do not do it? Your job is necessary but does not bring you happiness. Then you say no to this necessary job and do not do this job. The worst consequence, you lose your job. And it opens a new door, new window that you may go to look for another job. And that new job may bring you happiness. Of course, everything has two consequences. Everything has two results. One is good, one is bad. It is 50-50. And you do not... You do not stop this. You cannot start another 50-50. If the current job give you a hundred percent unhappiness. Then you stop it and you have a bet for the next job that 50% happiness chance, 50% unhappy chance. At least you have 50% of happiness chance. While at this current job is 
a hundred percent unhappy. This could be a job, this could be your homework, this could be your marriage, this could be your relationship, this could be anything. And say no to something that is totally hopeless, does not deserve your effort to save. Give yourself the luxury of deciding to say no. This way you can move on. If you do not say no to something that is not good, you will never have the chance to bring in something that is good. So, the first thing, say no to it. If that is necessary and do not bring happiness and do not and do not have any sign that will bring your happiness. Just don't do it. You will not die because of not doing something. The second thing. Mentally prepare yourself. There are things that is not that is necessary, but do not bring you happiness. But they are temporary to prepare a lesson, to make a presentation is necessary. This is in my job description. This is in what I need to do. And uh, I am a shy person. I do not want to do it. And this is necessary. It does not bring me happiness. But I decide to embrace it. I decide to put myself into this. For example, um, make a presentation about my class so that uh, to meet with parents. Think about it. You are shy this time and people, parents, see you as incapable and the rest of the year you will have a lot of hardship in dealing with your temporary shyness or coward. But if you prepare yourself and think through what you need to do, what you need to say and make a good presentation because you know your job, I know my job, I know my passion and if I put my heart and soul into something and that shows up and that shows up in my presentation and my ability will show up. And it will bring me joy. It will bring me... When you talk, when you do not know what to talk, you feel foreign, you feel intimidated. But when you know what you want to say, and when you prepare it very well, it is actually a very, very encouraging and very uplifting experience. So turn something you fear, something intimidating, into something you, you are proud and you are happy, you are eager to do. And you turn it around, you own it. Then this necessary thing becomes a seed for your future happiness. When the parents see you are a confident, you are capable, you are um, passionate, and you have your skill, knowledge, and expertise, they will be happy. They will support you, right? And uh, this may be in, in currently, I have this parent-teacher conference or, 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 or back-to-school presentation in front of me, so I talk about this. There are many things you can think about. Once you put your heart and soul, once you decide this is what is necessary and this is what I have to do and I want this job, I want these things, I want to be the best of myself, you can do it. And you can do it good.
You can own it. So ask yourself, is this thing, is this necessary thing? Is really necessary or not? Because if it will never bring you happiness, it's not necessary. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your life. Okay, so we come back to the other point. Let's put it as the third point. Get a hobby and distract yourself. I was exhausted and now I am making video. I feel so much better because I have an audience, because I have a place to express myself. And that is very important. The thing is that uh, nobody watch my video, nobody listen to my video, and uh, but it doesn't matter. A hundred view, twenty view, with one or two comments, it bring me happiness. Another thing about. Uh, about making video about life is that you do what you want to do. You do not think about how other people think about you. You do not think about the social judgment of your action. And uh, I am not in another sense, I'm in the sense that I make video I put my time, I put my passion, I put, I put my heart and soul into doing it, but I do not get views, I do not get subscribers. But it's okay, because it brings me happiness, and it brings me good energy. And if video game is something that you are passionate about and bring you happiness, and you play really good, you have a, an online group play together, that is one thing you can do. And this is a, a, this is a 2019. Video game is one form of entertainment. And if going biking, swimming, or Doing sports is your thing, go ahead, do it. And if cooking, baking is something make you happy, make you proud, go ahead, do it. Do something that distract you from this. My life is not only a teacher. I have another part of my life. That is a YouTuber. And my life is not only a teacher, a YouTuber. I have a family. I have a family that I passionately love. And they give me happiness. They give me, uh, give me worry, give me trouble, give me a very full life. And they give me sweet, sour, bitter, and... Uh, and uh, spicy, they give me all the flavors of life that uh, enrich my family. I cry, I smile, I laugh, I worry, I anger, I, uh, I get angry, I feel sorry, I, I, I have a full feeling in my family. So, your life can you ha you can have different identity you can have different role in the society and these roles and different roles can make you a full life not only one thing if your life is only a wife 
when your husband uh, divorces you, you will have nothing. If your life is only a husband, when your wife, when your wife divorces you, you will have nothing. When your life is only an employee, and your boss fire you, you will have nothing. So you step on several boats because your life. Does not rely on only one thing. It is the different stones to support you, to make you a full, complete life. And that is your cornerstone. And you do not have one stone to support you. You have a variety. Of different functions, different joys, different things, and different hobbies, different、uh, different aspects of your life to make your life complete. So, in this case, necessary thing is necessary. Sugar. Is not sweet, or sugar is not as sweet without the contrast of bitterness, of saltiness. When we do cooking, we do something sweet. We put a teeny tiny little pinch of salt to bring up to 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 to, to compromise or to complement complement. To complement sweetness, no contrast. Life is not full. No hardship. Life is boring. No necessary things. Life will not end up with happiness. Necessary things are the essential part of our life, and they are necessary. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Bye bye.